Rhinoplasty. This is what you should know. Rhinoplasty is a procedure to correct or change the shape of the nose. Nose surgery can be done to correct abnormalities or improve the appearance of the nose. Nose surgery or rhinoplasty is done by modifying the bones, cartilage, and skin of the nose. The goal is to change the shape of the nose to make it more attractive, to repair a broken nose bone due to an injury, or to overcome breathing problems due to a deformity of the nose. Nose surgery is one of the most frequently performed plastic surgery procedures. This procedure is quite complicated and the results may not be as desired. Therefore, it is important to consult a doctor before undergoing rhinoplasty. Purpose and Indications for Rhinoplasty Rhinoplasty can be done for the following purposes. Shrinking the size of the nose, nose reduction. Enlarge the size of the nose, nose augmentation. Changing the shape of the base or tip of the nose. Change the angle between the nose and the upper lip. Correcting nasal deformities resulting from birth defects or injuries. Overcome respiratory disorders. Please note, rhinoplasty is not recommended for people with the following conditions. Suffer from a blood clotting disorder, such as hemophilia. Inhaling cocaine through the nose. Had rhinoplasty in the last 9 to 12 months or had too many rhinoplasties. Having very thick nasal skin that can cause permanent swollen nose after surgery. Have a high risk for complications after surgery. Rhinoplasty warning. Rhinoplasty for aesthetic or cosmetic reasons is performed when the nasal cartilage is fully developed, that is, at the age of 15 and over. However, if the goal is to treat breathing problems or certain conditions, rhinoplasty can be done at a younger age. Before nose surgery. Before undergoing rhinoplasty, patients need to consult a plastic surgeon. In the consultation session, the doctor will explain the benefits, risks and complications that may occur after undergoing nose surgery. After that, the doctor will provide a form that the patient must sign. This is to ensure that the patient understands the procedure, as well as the benefits and risks that may occur after rhinoplasty. If the patient is considered suitable for rhinoplasty, the doctor will carry out the following series of examinations. Examination of medical history, including medical history, surgical procedures that have been undertaken, and medications that have been or are being used. Physical tests, especially on the structure of the nose, thickness of the skin, conditions on the inside and outside of the nose, and the cartilage at the base or tip of the nose. Taking photos of the patient's nose from various angles followed by the use of computer software to show the approximate shape of the nose after surgery. Blood test if needed. In addition to the above examinations, there are other things that need to be done by patients before rhinoplasty, namely. Avoid taking painkillers containing ibuprofen or aspirin two weeks before and after rhinoplasty because these drugs can increase the risk of bleeding after surgery. Stop smoking, because smoking can slow down the healing process. Stop taking blood thinners, one week before surgery or according to doctor's advice. Ask family or friends to accompany you during the operation and for the following days, and drive the patient home after surgery. Nose Surgery Procedure Rhinoplasty procedures generally last one to two hours, but can take longer. Some of the stages in the rhinoplasty procedure are 1. Give anesthetic. The doctor will inject a local anesthetic into the nose and give a sedative through and for 
Doctors can also give general anesthesia in the form of inhaled medication or by injection. The type of anesthesia to be given depends on how complicated the rhinoplasty is. 2. Make an incision in the nose. The incision can be made open or closed. In closed surgery, an incision is made on the inside of the nose. While in open surgery, an incision is made in the columella, which is the outside of the nose that separates the nostrils. Through these incisions, the skin covering the nasal bones and cartilage will be slowly removed. That way, the doctor can access the part to be operated on and reshape the patient's nose structure. 3. Reshape the structure of the nose. The doctor will remove the bones and cartilage in the nose in patients who want to reduce their nose. Meanwhile, for patients who want to enlarge their nose, the doctor will perform a cartilage graft from the ear or sternum to the patient's nose. 4. Fixed a crooked nasal septum. If the position of the septum, which is the septum that separates the two nostrils, is crooked or not right in the middle of the nose, the doctor will straighten it to improve respiratory function. 5. Closing the incision. After the doctor has shaped the patient's nose the way he wants, the skin and nasal tissue will be returned to its position, then the incision will be closed. After nose surgery. After rhinoplasty, the doctor will place a plastic or metal brace on the patient's nose to protect and maintain the new nose structure during the recovery process. The doctor will also monitor the patient's condition in the recovery room for several hours after surgery. If the patient's condition is stable, the patient is allowed to go home that day. However, if the operation is complicated enough, the patient may have to be hospitalized for one to two days. During the first few days after surgery, patients may experience confusion, difficulty concentrating, and slow response to something. Therefore, patients should be accompanied by family members to help and care for patients in the recovery period. The patient may also experience pain, headache, swelling in the nose, difficulty breathing through the nose, numbness in and around the nose, or nosebleeds. To reduce these complaints, there are several things patients can do, namely, rest in bed by stacking a few pillows to elevate your head. Be careful when taking a bath so that the water doesn't get the bandage over your nose. Not compressing the nose with cold compresses after surgery. Do not blow air through the nose or pick up debris in the nose. Don't smile, laugh, chew, or make other expressions that involve excessive nose movement. Not wearing glasses for a while, but if absolutely necessary, it's best to use adhesive to attach the glasses to the forehead, so they don't press against the nose. Brush your teeth slowly to limit movement of the upper lip. Avoid dusty or smoky places. Avoid strenuous activities, such as jogging, aerobics, or swimming. Wear a shirt with front buttons to avoid friction on the nose. Eat high-fiber foods to avoid constipation, because constipation can cause pressure on the surgical site. Limit salt intake to relieve swelling. The stitches are usually removed seven days after surgery, while the nose supports are generally removed after one to two weeks. Nasal surgery complications. Nasal surgery can cause different complications for each patient, including drug side effects, it's hard to breathe, numbness in the nose, pain and swelling in the nose, bleeding or nosebleeds, infection of the incision, asymmetrical nose shape, scar tissue or scars on the nose, tear in the septum, septal perforation. Immediately consult a doctor if you experience the following symptoms after undergoing rhinoplasty. High fever, a lot of blood coming from the nose, bruising or swelling of the nose, eyelids, or face, severe pain in the nose, headaches that don't get better with prescription medications.